What if you could borrow sound itself? For millennia, words vanished the moment they were spoken. Then, in 1877, a young Thomas Edison had a wild idea. While trying to improve the telegraph, he noticed vibrations from a stylus could scratch patterns onto tinfoil. He quickly sketched a device, a cylinder, a needle, and a mouthpiece. He shouted into it, Mary had a little lamb. To his astonishment, the machine played it back. He called it the phonograph, the sound writer. The world was stunned. Imagine hearing a recording for the first time. This wasn't just a novelty, it was a revolution. It meant music could be endlessly replicated, lectures preserved, and voices from the past could speak to the future. Edison's simple invention didn't just record sound. It changed how we experience art, history, and communication forever.